A very good evening to you and thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Many folks on social media have been making mention about how chilly it has been over the last day or so. Of course, we've had an area of low pressure, not one, but actually two areas of low pressure that have generated some very strong winds in the last 24 hours. We are starting to see that area of low pressure fill. Winds are dropping off and the temperatures are slowly coming up as well. But certainly this was the temperatures earlier this morning across the board. So mid to even low single figures factor in a, a breeze coming in 20, 30 miles an hour. And it fell close to freezing, if not slightly below in some areas. And yeah, chilly for the middle portion of April, but nothing extreme by any stretch of the imagination. Now, as the winds have dropped off over the course of this afternoon, the temperatures have been slowly starting to respond, especially with the sunshine returning. And, and you can see that taking place. But even the early portion of the afternoon, many parts of Northern Ireland, for example, four, five Celsius factor in a breeze. And it certainly feel, did feel quite late winter like actually in several areas. But as you can see here, temperatures creeping up closer to the average for the middle portion of April as we progressed through the second half of the afternoon. But uh, be sure to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will be looking in the next couple of days at long range stuff. Of course, the upcoming summer forecast is now starting to get uh, put together. The ideas are starting to come to uh, some uh, elements of fruition already. And I will be excited to share that with you on here on YouTube as well as on marfolkandweather.com in the coming weeks and uh, some interesting flips in the long range model with regards to the outcome for the June through August period. So stay tuned, plenty of reason to stick around of course here on my channel as well as checking out marfolkandweather.com as well. So uh, and also we've got a very interesting weekend coming up in the Global Weather and Climate Report edition 37 I believe it is. And uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, you know flooding rains in parts of the Middle East, a uh, cyclone that is literally as of recording now making landfall in northwestern Australia. Uh, I believe as an upper end um, category four equivalent or low end category five, but a major impact is underway now in northwestern Australia. We've also seen incredible midsummer like warmth in parts of the United States. And uh, we'll look at the broader picture as well. It looks as if Delhi has recorded its latest 38 Celsius or 100 degree Fahrenheit reading since 2015, I believe. So all that will be in the Global Weather and Climate Report coming up this weekend. So stay tuned to that and be sure to hit the subscribe button, of course. Looking at the 2 meter temperature anomaly chart, this is for the last 24 hour period and uh, firmly below average as you can see across the board for the UK and indeed Ireland. Western Iberia below average uh, as you can see here quite significantly so as well across much of po uh, Portugal, northwestern and northern um, Spain and indeed France and indeed the low countries and much of, of Germany. Notice here. Uh, firmly above average across the eastern portion of Spain. So quite a contrast actually between uh, you know, warmer than average in the east versus significantly below average in the west of Iberia, which is quite an interesting little, um, little uh, anomaly uh, variability there, of course. So the area of low pressure, of course, that has been making an impact on the UK in the last couple of days, bringing a distinctly chilly uh, feel across the board. We are seeing that area of low pressure beginning to fill and uh, therefore what we are going to see is that is going to start to set the tone for the upcoming weekend and it looks as if high pressure over Scandinavia is really going to start to build uh, westwards as we progress through the weekend but we'll look at the details in that in just a second. This is off the ECMWF, haven't looked at this in a few days I uh, quite often have a, a bit of a GFS bias, I suppose. So I want to look at the ECMWF today to see what that's showing. But you can see here that area of low pressure over the North Sea is beginning to fill. We are left in a legacy of sunshine and showers to bring us through the course of uh, the rest of today 
and indeed tomorrow and of course with lighter winds more sunshine temperatures are going to respond more so than they have done in the last couple of days notice this little area of low pressure passing to the south of ireland and indeed the uk and further north we've got higher pressure developing here so a chillier start of the day across particularly the north of england northern ireland much of the republic in fact and scotland with clear skies and light wind temperatures are going to get uh, close to the freezing mark in a few spots and that is going to set the tone for the weekend through at least the first half of the weekend anyway it looks as if uh, you can still see here this is tomorrow afternoon uh, we've got an area of a uh, enhanced shower activity as you can see here across the uh, the eastern side of england here maybe even some wintry precipitation still actually believe it or not over the hills of northern britain so that's quite interesting as we progress through the course of tomorrow and then it's this area of high pressure that kind of builds in over the uk what that's going to do is it's going to increase the diurnal fluctuation in the temperature over the 12 hour period close to freezing if not slightly below in some areas during the overnight period by mid-afternoon temperatures into the mid-teens so we are seeing that big rise and fall in temperature under high pressure conditions nothing unusual of course for this time of the year then things get interesting as we progress towards the second half of the upcoming weekend you notice here we've got a frontal system making an approach on the northwest of ireland and indeed the uk you notice here that we've got um high pressure uh, and lighter winds further south so therefore we're going to continue with this diurnal fluctuation chilly by night warm by afternoon but across more northern areas of the UK with a little bit more southwesterly wind, we may see the temperature rise into the highest levels anywhere in the UK during Saturday with a little bit of a kind of south to southwesterly wind blowing over the hills of even Northern Ireland. So north coast of uh, Northern Ireland, uh, Donegal and the Republic may see temperatures, you know, approach 18 Celsius on Saturday afternoon as well as that across the northwest highlands maybe the murray coast also and temperatures kind of 15 16 celsius uh, elsewhere across the uk and then it's as we progress through sunday we've got that southwesterly wind we do have a little possibility of some shower activity riding that southwesterly wind but i think the warmest temperatures are going to be to the west and north of the uk still pleasant of course elsewhere across central and eastern england but the temperatures are going to have uh, a little bit of a cap to it we don't have that wind to enhance the temperature so to speak but still very pleasant indeed 15 16 possibly even 17 celsius but i do think we may hit 18 19 possibly 20 even on sunday afternoon over uh, you know areas of northern ireland and indeed scotland where we have that potential fern effect of wind blowing over the hills down sloping to the lee of the mountains and of course as those winds down slope they tend to warm the air up so that's the weekend as we progress through the early portion of next week notice here that we've got an area of low pressure rather large encompassing a very very broad area of the north atlantic anywhere from the azores all the way up to uh, greenland that isn't going to make an approach in the UK. The reason why is we've got an area of high pressure over Scandinavia that is going to start to deflect weather systems to the west of the UK. But what we are going to find here is that we've got a little bit of fresh air coming underneath that area of high pressure. So onshore areas of both the UK and indeed Ireland and Northern Ireland may find a distinctly chilly raw feel but in the sunshine and further west, the temperatures are going to be warmer. So cooler east, warmer west looks as if that's going to be the rule of thumb as we progress into the early portion of next week. Thanks to an area of high pressure over Scandinavia. As we continue to progress through the course of the week, notice here that we've got a little bit of a squeeze in the ice bars over the northern half of the British Isles. This is where I think the temperatures are going to approach 20 Celsius into the early portion of next week 16 to 18 celsius i think quite widely but i think 20 celsius is possible across the north of the british isles uh you know at the very earliest sunday afternoon if not monday or tuesday fresher like i say on the coast but the big take home from this is the more settled 
theme as we progress through the weekend and in the next week. People are fed up of rain, wind, cold, low pressure. It's going to be very much high pressure and pleasant conditions into early next week. And that looks as if it's going to continue to be the theme as we progress into Tuesday and Wednesday. So you notice here that we've got a little bit more wind across southern areas of the UK, less so further north. So, of course, with easterly wind blowing over the coldest waters at this time of the year over the North Sea, we are going to see temperatures subdued and a bit of a wind chill actually on the coast, uh, anywhere from Lincolnshire, uh, Yorkshire, all the way down to uh, to the southeast coast of, uh, of the UK here. So, like I say, lighter winds further north, breezier conditions, fresher conditions further south, further west over the West Midlands, the southwest and West Wales. We are going to see the temperatures coming up, of course, at this time of the year. As those winds blow over the land with sunshine, you see the warmest temperatures. So it's not going to be a beast from these by any stretch of the imagination, but distinctly cool on that coast in exposure of the breeze. So high pressure looks to maintain itself as we progress through the early and middle portion of next week. Look at the two meter temperature anomalies. This kind of reinforces what I'm talking about with regards to the temperature. So cool at the moment, as you can see here, and uh, you know, a distinctly chilly morning on Saturday. But notice here, so blues uh, to start the day on Saturday uh, are quickly replaced by above average temperatures. So there's that diurnal fluctuation. Clear skies, light winds mean cold by night, warm by afternoon. Uh, strong sun, of course, at this time of the year. And then it's as we progress into the early portion of next week, you can see the temperatures responding. So with a south to southwesterly wind, warmest temperatures, Ireland, Northern Ireland, uh, the eastern side of northeastern England and Scotland is the warmest. Notice here that we've got actually near average conditions further south. And as we progress through the course of early next week, you notice here that the warmest temperature anomalies compared to average is actually across the northern half of the British Isles. So it reinforces what I'm talking about with the fern effect, with the wind direction and whatnot. Uh, even uh, average, slightly below average, believe it or not, anywhere from the kind of Kent, Essex, around that Suffolk, Norfolk coast, the wash in the, um, into, um, I was going to say, um, Lincolnshire, sorry, my geography there, kind of my mind just went blank for a second, and all the way up towards the Humber estuary. We may have some fairly subdued temperatures Further west, further north, warmest. And notice here that we've got warmer than average across the west of Iberia as opposed to average to slightly below average across the east. Complete contrast to what we've got at the moment here. So certainly there's a lot of interesting things going on at the moment here. So keep it right here on YouTube. I appreciate the, the each and every view, your time, your comments, and indeed uh, everything else so uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday and I'll hopefully be back again tomorrow with more we'll look at El Nino we'll look at long range stuff hopefully in the next couple of days and of course on Sunday the global weather and climate report stay tuned bye for now